Don't freak out on me. I want to talk about spirituality. It's going to be okay. What the hell is spirituality? Anyway, my understanding of spirituality is our innate connection, connection with who we really are, with the entire planet as a whole, with the community that we share with, and with that, that, that sense that there is everything is okay and everything is connected and one. Something along those lines, anyway. The Balinese people, they are very spiritual, very religious at the same time. Uh, meaning that they have a lot of outward rites and rituals that they practice, the religion, to connect with that inner spirit of who they are, spirituality. So this is one of the many, many temples that they have. It's actually right on a river. So it's sitting on beautiful, there's a river down under all this mess somewhere. And even these trees to them are sacred. So any big trees like this become sacred and there's a temple. And they wrap, see they've wrapped the stones, they've wrapped the trees to make it a, a very symbolic piece in their world. And every day they'll come and do, have a look at this, they'll come and do these offerings. So these are offerings that they make here. They dry the rice, they, they carve this stuff up, which is um, uh, pandanus, they make the baskets, and a few times a day they'll come and they'll do offerings. Uh, that's the outward ritual, but the spiritual symbology there is to connect with Mother Nature because the Balinese people are very, very connected with Mother Nature. They realize that their whole world revolves around the flow of nature. Rivers are sacred, trees are sacred. This tree is just a river. It's just a river. It's got water moving through it, which we call sap, right? Constantly, it has life force flow within it, just like the human body, just like the rain coming down, just like the rivers to the ocean, just like the waves. Uh, just like everything, everything has flow. And without flow, you have stagnation and death. So that is the opposite. So we're honoring these trees, we're honoring the space, being on the river here as well, of flow, which creates flow in our life. The flow of the seasons, the flow of the plants, of growing fruit, of growing rice. Even look how the Balinese people live with their rice cultivation. It's all about channeling water to flow into the rice paddies so that they can eat. It's all about flow. So, and spirit comes from uh, the word, I think it's aspire or aspire, which is breath. Spirituality actually means breath, which is why meditation, something that I practiced my whole life since I was 20 when I found out about it, um, is all about a focus on the breath and using the breath to move deeper into who we really are. Spirit. Beautiful, huh? So, just looking today at uh, how I can get closer to nature, being that nature is a, a very deep source and connection of spirituality. The Balinese people, and for me here in Bali, it's very easy because I can come to these sites, I can come into the natural world and I can spend a moment. When was the last time that you spent a moment in nature? When was the last time that you went and connected with your spirit, with your flow? Just to sit by a river, sit in the forest, sit in your backyard, or walk by a river, walk in the forest, walk in your backyard and be present, be aware of your breath, be aware of the, the breeze that's blowing against you, be aware of the sound of the river or the ocean that you're, you're near, be aware of the trees that are around you, yeah just be aware, just be in that moment for just a second, that is spirituality. Have fun, enjoy your magical day and find that place within yourself that you know is connected to all because that's where your peace and that's where your happiness lies and life is very very good trust your body trust nature because nature knows the way cheers